Good evening, friends. This is Dave coming to you uh, semi-live from the Hobby Barn basement. Uh, another modification slash fix for my grass flyers. Um, for any of you who have had the large-scale Freewing A10 or the F4 Phantom or any of the front uh, leading nose gear aircraft that you've had difficulties in grass with the gear collapsing with the pins, uh, I've got your fix for those of you who need one. Now we all know factory pin. Look beautiful, feel great, nice big notch, whole nine yards. They're made of pot metal, which I have brought up before on main gear for the F-22 and some of the other planes. Uh, some of them you get lucky and they last a long time. Sometimes you come down and have what you think is the most beautiful landing in the world and your gear collapse because the pin shears off at the uh, end of the strut. So I, I come back once again to the E-Flight 6120 size landing gear wire. Now obviously I have used this. It is exactly the same size as the strut pin for the nose gear and the main gear on most of the larger free wing aircraft. Um, I know this because I have replaced this on most of my airplanes as the gear mod. Some people use uh, drill bit shanks. Uh, I have found that for the two bucks, I can get the better part of a half a dozen pins out of these strut wires uh, versus going to buy drill bits and cutting them down. So that being said, the fix, because the factory pins have a head on them. And in order to get that, you can't very well pound it in when you cut a new one. So what I have done, I've cut the length. And then at the very top, with a simple Dremel, I rounded the head. And then I cut a very careful one millimeter deep ring all the way around the new pin. And then put in our infamous C-clip, which, you know, everybody loves. Uh, and I just test fit it very gently uh, every couple of turns with the Dremel until it snapped. And then once it snapped on in place and fit to where it had just a little bit of movement on it, I knew it was right. Uh, you give it a little pinch, make sure it's going to stay. I know it will not come off. I have tested it. Now, your next piece, your trunnion. Because, unfortunately, the C-clips are a little wider, you've got to take a little file set or the dental tool, I guess it's the etching tool in the Dremel set, and get down into just at the base of the Y and give it a little bit of a gap at the bottom. The beautiful thing is these aluminum trunnion pieces are tough. I've never had one break. They've never been an issue. But as you can see, I've cut just a little bit of a notch down at the base on each side, just so there's a little bit of travel. So when you take your pin and fit it down into your trunnion piece, what I do is I set it so the C-clip fits down into one of the two sides. Sorry guys, bear with me. Hard to do this with one hand. Um, you still get a little bit of movement. And I played with the fit until I got it the way I wanted it. But once it was in there, as you can see, it sits down flush and you still get the movement in the pin the same way you would as if the factory pin were in it. Now, as I said, one-handed, it's a little more difficult to show you. But you can see it sits down in there with no issues. It's not going to pop out. I have already tested this, or I would not be videoing and showing it to all of you. Um, I have done this grass mod. I have now flown it out of my, you know, short run, runway 270 out of the back. And I've had some really great landings, and I've had some really ugly landings. And every time this pin has come through with no issues, it doesn't bend. And no, I have not torn the front landing gear out. So with that, then it's just a simple matter of once it's in there and you've got it placed, cut your notches. And then place your steering arm, place your strut. The only caution I will have is in your retract unit, when you put the new trunnion in or replace the old whatever, at the very back of this, when it retracts, 
the head of this, make sure you round the head because there's a plastic piece inside the retract housing that when it comes back in, get it turned around here, that head will hit the plastic inside if it's not rounded off and then it will catch and the gear won't retract. So I tested it a couple of times and that's how I knew when I cut the notch in this that it could only be a millimeter down from the top and it could only be a millimeter deep. And then it, ro it rotated correctly every time. So guys, that is your fix for the F4 Phantom. I have not had to do anything else to the gear mount in the front of this. Uh, if I were to have to, I would probably do something very similar to the F14 where I would simply just get some longer uh, uh, bolts and run them down through and put a very simple plywood plate into the, the top of this. Uh, and I, I have no doubt that it would strengthen that. But the mount itself in this plane doesn't really seem to be the issue. It's just the gear pin. Um, please leave any comments, questions, concerns, and your and, and feedback in the comments section. And I hope this helps somebody. Take care.